<clears throat> What's up guys, this is a quick video telling you guys I finally fixed my problem that I was having and the reason why I haven't put out the Pokemon on Vita tutorial because I was having this problem, it just wasn't working for me. But finally I fixed it. Uh, as you can see right now, I was running on my Vita and I actually just caught a Pansage in the wild. It was rustling grass. I thought it was going to be an Articuno, but it wasn't. So as you can see, it's going at uh, six. No, it's going like eight, twelve. It's going like from like five to max. I feel like sixteen, eighteen, twenty FPS right now. That that thirty of those fifty is really fake. I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's just like I said, it's not nothing good. Uh, I don't, if, you, if you guys watched the other video, this is where you knew I figured out how to do this, you would know that it was nothing amazing. It wasn't anything like as playable as it was on the PSP because it was just a different way I did it. But it's still something. It's a start. The guy hasn't really updated it, so that's probably another reason. But anyways, so quick run through the features. Um, uh, circle is A. X is B. Square is start. So when I press square, it goes down to that screen. I made it so it's one LCD, so you can see the whole screen, see a lot. So all you do is click this down, and you can see the bottom part of the screen. And you can do all your business. Press square again, goes back up to this screen, and you just go back up. So the arrow, and like usual, these are the keys to move. Ah, uh, like that. Yada yada, it's really laggy, holy crap. Teleporting everywhere. Uh, L? Not sure. It's supposed. This is like the L and R button on the DS, but those aren't used for anything, so it doesn't matter. Start really isn't anything. Oh, rustling grass again. Let's see what this is again. So L and R really don't do anything. Start. That's an Arduino. There's the Arduino we're looking for. So yeah. Um. Start doesn't do anything. You don't really need start for anything. When you start up the game, you press circle as in A, and you know it. Um. It will start the game up. Whenever it says press start, you don't actually have to press start. So yeah, this gives a, Arduino gives a lot of XP. So let's just speed it up. Cause you guys have waited so long. Everyone that's subscribed, new subscribers, I love you guys. I know you guys. A lot of you subscribed for this uh, tutorial. I promised you it. I didn't break my promise. Of course, I did take a long time, but uh, it's coming. What I want you guys to do right now. Like right now, I'll put in the description the, uh, the directions. You're gonna have to. Well, I want you to go to uh, Places of Mobile, the site. They'll just click the link in the description. It's gonna take you to the site. You're gonna apply for a red uh, a key or something. You're just gonna apply for something so you can um, test the game on your Vita. That's basically what this. Now that you, because it, it used to be paid, now it's free. So it's like it's like a. It's basically like a certificate letting you test it on your Vita because before you have to pay before you can test it on your Vita. So, but yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to apply for this because it takes a day or two, I don't know, a few hours for you to get the email saying you can do it. And then there's another part that's really different. It's not hard. You just, you just follow this thing. And I'll give you the link to that as well in the description. So you're going to do all this. So for the tutorial, I'll briefly go through it and then you just kind of finish it up. And yeah, so it's really hard to explain because I'm just in a hurry right now. Look at that. was one FPS. Sorry. All right, guys. Oh, see you guys later.